The left brain is what we see and perceive reality within most of our daily lives. But the right brain, to see the code and the frequency and the patterns, the love, the energy, beyond this holographic construct, is beautiful. And once you see these two polarities, you can merge them. Pain is a beautiful thing. Nothing is out of place. <laughs> Chaos is order. Rejection. Heart coherence. Why? Is it that humanity really finds it difficult to heal? Especially from rejection trauma. You know, if you go to see a healer, a lot of the times they'll take you back into your childhood and they start to bring pieces of your inner child into healing and, you know, they think that this is the way to go. I mean, it's a stepping stone in the right direction, but it's not where it's at. You can take people into past lives, future lives, into the quantum deeply. Because we're souls having multiple experiences, right? Not just here on Earth, but multiple planets, dimensional spaces. And even if something's in the so-called past, on this crazy linear time construct, this man-made time machine, it's not really in the past. Because once you get out of this body and into the quantum, everything is now. There is no past and future. There's only now, this present moment. So everything that you've experienced on some level, you are re-experiencing over and over and over. Some of it's positive, some of it's not so. But even drilling down those timelines into the past, into the future, you gotta go deeper. You gotta go all the way back to the start. You have the God spark within. You are source manifested into form, just like I am. We look a little bit different. We're in different avatars, different bodies, but ultimately, at the core of our beings, we're source, we're energy, we're code, we're lights, we're frequency, we're darkness, we're everything. This original sustenance, we're frequency. Now, if you go all the way back to the start, when there was the singularity and there was source, there was just this energy. It got a little bit curious and it duplicated itself. That original split is where humanities, and not just humanities, but multiple races of experienced rejection. Because that's where duality started, where the one became two. The two ultimately became three and created the Trinity, the equilateral triangle, which became the tetrahedron, which became the Merkaba field and so on. And we at the core of our beings are spinning, bouncing, bubbling clusters of tetrahedrons. 49 days after conception in the woman's womb, eight little cells appear. Those eight little cells form a Merkaba field. They're the egg of the Kundalini. The Genesis cells, the only cells in your human body that never change, that contain all of your records. The reason they contain all of your records is because right at the start, you manifested into a Merkaba field very quickly. The one became two, the two became three, the three became a tetrahedron. Four equilateral triangles, which then became the Merkaba field. At the core of your being, you feel this rejection trauma. Everyone does on some level because that split was powerful. And to start with, the split was okay, but then the split got a little bit more curious and dark became stronger, the light became stronger, the duality became even more apparent. And eventually, the two sides warred against each other, mathematically, geometrically, in, in different forms. But if you really wanna heal rejection trauma, you gotta go back to the start. That's where it's at. Now, how do you go back to the start and do this efficiently and effectively? Well, first of all, you don't do it by going back to the start because ultimately there is no start. There is no end, there is no middle. There's just now. So by going back to the start, <laughs> you're, you're on a, a journey that isn't gonna take you nowhere really because you're never gonna find the start and you're never gonna find the end. Everything has to be accessible now. And we do that by moving into total coherence. We do that by being present, being now, being whole. Our left and right brain should not be a left and right brain. Our left and right brain should just be a brain. <laughs> it should just be like a walnut. You look at Stargate number 10 in Iraq, a lot of the, the hemispheric manipulation, splitting of the brain comes out of that Stargate when it was hijacked and manipulated millions of years ago. We have our corpus callus and the link between the left and right brain. If you come to our training, our level one training, I take you into this incredible meditation 
where we go on a journey around the body and move up into the corpus callosum. And then we go into the left and right hemisphere and we, re we view reality from both hemispheres. And there's a massive difference. The left brain processes seven bits of data per second. The right brain processes billions of bits of data per second. The right brain sees frequency, it feels, it knows, it sees code. The left brain stacks things on shelves and reads between the lines. They're completely different perspectives or they give you access to completely different perspectives. And what happens is once you see the difference in the two, which is very difficult unless you get into this right brain and view reality, because the left brain is what we see and perceive reality within most of our daily lives. But the right brain, to see the code and the frequency and the patterns, the love, the energy beyond this physical form, beyond this holographic construct is beautiful. And once you see these two polarities, you can merge them. And once you merge them, coherence takes place in the brain. Now you need to bring your brain into coherence with your heart. You need to bring your brain and your heart into coherence with your gut. You need to be this living, breathing one organism that is connected to the whole. And then you realize that your body is like a cell and everyone else's body is like a cell, and all these cells are part of this one organism. Everything that you do happens to everybody else. Everything that I do happens to everyone else. Everything that I feel is felt on some level throughout the field, and every piece of action I take, every thought, every emotion that we all have is interconnected. So we have to take self-responsibility to be responsible for all of our outputs and all of our inputs. Because we're electrical, we're magnetic, we're male, we're female, we're, we're dark, we're light, we're everything. And we have to bring it all into the zero point. This coherence heals everything. There's nothing it doesn't heal. But to become coherent for most humans is so difficult because most human beings are moving forwards into the so-called future. Thinking about it instead of being here right now. Or they're in the past thinking about the past, all of their problems, all of the things that happened to them, feeling sorry for the things that happened when they were a child. Get out of victimhood and start being that living legend. Be that unfuckwithable, superhuman gangster that you came to planet Earth to be. Not some pitiful human that feels sorry for themselves. You know, I don't really beat around the bush when it comes to this kind of topic because I'm not here to make anyone feel good. I'm here to mirror back to you what you need to work on. And I'm grateful for anything you can mirror to me because those reflections guide us. But most people would rather pass blame and judgment instead of seeing the magic in the mirror. To heal any kind of trauma it is to simply step into wholeness and be here now. When you become whole, you merge with the totality of the entire cosmic fabric. You become the tapestry, those threads all woven together. There's no separation, wholeness is the key to all things. It's the key to longevity, it's the key to balance, it's the key to love, it's the key to abundance, it's the key to everything. Don't be separate. And stop trying to manifest things in the future. Because if you're trying to manifest things in the future, you're already behind the eight ball. The only way that we can create is to co-create in the moment, moving through time and space, in the now, letting it unfold then we're riding the wave. If you're trying to create something in the so-called future, you're behind the map. It's already gone. The ship sailed. What you've also got to realize and truly fully integrate and know and understand, understand, is that all of the pain that you experience is beautiful. When people get a disease, they think, oh my God, it's the end of the world. Instead of thinking, wow, I didn't even know this was inside of me. Now I know that it's inside of me, I'm gonna dive into that pain. I'm gonna dive into that dis-ease. I'm gonna dive into that trauma. And I'm gonna sit in it. I'm gonna love it, I'm gonna feel it. And I'm gonna transmute it. Pain is a beautiful thing. We're playing a game, beautiful soul. A magical game that is so flipping precise. Nothing is out of place. <laughs> Chaos is order. Just like the jungle, just like the forest, just like the woods. You see all of these trees growing, it just looks like a mess. 
to the naked eye. You go to someone's backyard, someone's back garden, and you see all of this neat grass and the flower beds, and you think that's order. No, that's chaos. That's destruction. The real order is in the chaos where everything just flows. Everything works when you leave nature to its own devices. But when you try and control nature, you get in the way. When you try and control your life, you get in the way. When you let go and flow, just like water, you flow around the rocks, over the rocks, and you gently grace their presence and stroke them as you pass on by. When water flows down a river, it's painless, it's easy, it's graceful. If it goes off the end of a waterfall, it falls into the lagoon at the bottom or into another part of the river. It doesn't crash, it doesn't hurt, it just flows. There's a lot to learn from water. <laughs> like Bruce Lee used to say, put water into the bottle, it becomes the bottle, put water into the cup, it becomes the cup. What you gotta realize is there is no cup and there is no bottle. It's just an ocean of consciousness. Wholeness is the key, but are you brave enough to dive into your heart <laughs> and go on that journey? The journey of the heart is the journey of the brave, it's the journey of the spiritual gangster. Most people tell you that love, when you're feeling love, it's, it's, it's soft and nothing could be further from the truth. Love is harsh, love is powerful. When a human body crashes into water, it's like hitting a brick wall. But when you dive into the water, and you cut through it like a knife. You flow into the water and it's painless. This is life, it's easy, but you've got to play the game. But if you don't know you're playing the game, how can you play it? <laughs> and that's what's dangerous, because most people don't. But if you didn't already, now you know the truth. So play life by your rules. Oneness, kindness, love, unity, expansion. More life to all and less to none. Let's help each other up the ladder instead of trying to kick each other down. Because the universal mathematics that we've been running for a long time, that Fibonacci code, is all about eating the previous number to get the next number. It's a dog eat dog world. Actually, it's a love world. It's a compassion world. It's a kindness world. When everybody works together and shares the planet's resources equally, we realize it's good to give, it's beautiful to love, and there's more than enough to go around. So move into wholeness, move into coherence in your brain, in your heart, in your gut, and merge the three. That's the holy bodily trinity. But no one can do this for you. It's on you, beautiful soul. <laughs> Wherever you are on planet Earth, go and love your sisters and your brothers fiercely and ferociously. <laughs> Where lions and lionesses hug them tightly, never be the first to let go. Go out into this world and shine your powerful light. And remember, check out our website, starmagichealing.com. Come and join facilitator training. We will train you in the most powerful healing modality on earth with the most potent healing frequency, star magic and go and check out Infinity. We've got some of the best ascension tools on earth. Hundreds of meditations, light language transmissions, light codes, cosmic yoga videos, breath work, high frequency nutrition, bundles of mystery school teachings on hundreds of different subjects waiting for you to get stuck into right now. There's private telegram groups so you can connect with beautiful souls just like you on the same high frequency mission, on the same soul vibration, ready to make this world a much better place, to create heaven on earth. Heaven is here. I'll see you again real soon, beautiful soul. <laughs> Have fun, play the game. One love, one heart, one human family. Peace out.